Good evening, the image Alcuin, a minister and advisor to Charlemagne, religious and educational things, a man who did so many things, wrote poetry, revised the lectionary, did so much about our sacramental and liturgical, that is an organisation that bears his, bears his name just because of all that he was in terms of our liturgical life. One of my heroes. So we pause and in a moment we will begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. So a moment to reflect on all this day has been. And thinking of the failings, especially this day, we come before the Lord and pray, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 86 Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and in misery. Preserve my soul, for I am faithful. Save your servant, for I put my trust in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for you are my God. I call upon you all the day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of distress, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor any works like yours. All nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great and do wonderful things, you alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for evermore. For great is your steadfast love towards me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. O God, the proud rise up against me, and the ruthless hall seek after my life. They have not set you before their eyes. But you, Lord, are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and full of kindness and truth. Turn to me and have mercy upon me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your handmaid. 
Show me a token of your favour that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. The old shall dream dreams, and the young shall see visions. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia. Shall teach you all things, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, Alleluia, shall teach you all things. Alleluia, Alleluia. At the end of yet another day, we thank you for all that it has contained. We bring before you now, Lord, the people on our hearts and minds our needs and the needs of others, for those in places where there is conflict, where there is disorder, wrong government, cruelty, and where the marginalised go without. Lord, as we think of the needs of this world, the needs of people we know, we pray for the church, that it may be righteous, that it may act rightly. And Lord, we pray for those in leadership and in ministry, in churches, groups and denominations, that they would proclaim the love of God made flesh and live according to God's holy command. So we lift to you, Father God, now the people upon our hearts and minds. Let us pray. Father, as we go to our beds, give us rest and tomorrow as we worship the resurrection of Jesus the Christ in the breaking of bread and sharing of wine, may we celebrate all that you are in us. And as we journey to Pentecost, we pray for those who are far off, who do not know you. As we think of those with troubles, we pray, come, O Spirit of God, and make within in us your dwelling place and home. May our darkness be dispelled by your light, and our troubles calm by your peace. May all evil be redeemed by your love, 
all pain transformed through the suffering of Christ, and all dying glorified in his risen life. Amen. So let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. <clears throat> Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So come with the dawning of the day, Lord, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the Holy Spirit of God bless us and sanctify us so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. Thanks for being with us this evening. Take care. Sleep well. And tomorrow, may you be a blessing and be blessed. Good night, guys. Bless you.